This video will show you how to toggle an element on button click. A question arises, what does it mean and why is it required? Let me show you a practical example. Open google.com. Here we have this apps link. Click it once. It shows the app list. Click it once again. App list hides. This is called toggling an element on an event. It may be a button click or a mouse hover event. Let's implement this in Angular where we will toggle a div on a button click. Open VS Code. Go to your project and open app.component.html. Create a div that will be toggled on a button click. Add some styling to it. Now create a button that will hide and show this div and bind a click event to it. Go to the browser. Nothing will happen on button click since we have not done anything on the click event yet. Now back in VS Code, there are two ways in which we can implement toggle functionality of an element. First is using native HTML hidden attribute. This attribute takes a true or false value. If its value is true, the element is not displayed. If it is false, the element shows. Add a hidden attribute to the div and bind it to a property. Go to component class and create handler method for button click and this property. Remember that the property should be a boolean. Initialize the property to false so that the div is displayed on page load. Click event handler function will just reverse the property value. There you go. Back to the browser, the div is displayed. Click the button, div hides. Wonderful. Second method is by using angular ngif directive. This directive is applied on an element and takes a condition which evaluates to either true or false. If the condition is true, the element is displayed, else not. Remove hidden property and add the ngif directive to the div. Since we have initialized the property is display to false, we need to reverse the condition else the div will not be displayed at page load. Or if you do not want to reverse the condition, then change the value of the property to true. Rest all remains the same. Back in the browser, click the button, div is gone. Click again, div is back. Perfect. Though both the approaches work fine, but there is an important difference between the two. With hidden property, the div always remains on the page, whether displayed or not. But with ngif, when the div is not visible, it is not on the page either. Let me show you. Right click the div, inspect. The div is on the page. Click the button. Div is gone from the source as well. Back in VS Code, revert the changes to use hidden property. Go to the browser, inspect. Div is visible. Click on the button. Look, div is not displayed on the browser, but it is still present on the page. Thus, if you have a choice, then go with ngif directive to implement toggle functionality. That's it for this video. Hit like if this video was helpful.